Hello and welcome to the Blockchain Training Alliance's course on blockchain architecture. My name is Chris Bennett, I'll be your instructor. Over the coming hours, we're going to start from the very basics of blockchain and walk you through everything you need to know to start identifying good use cases in the world around you and building compelling blockchain solutions. Um, our goals for this course, first of all, we want to make sure that you understand what blockchain is. And by the end of this course, we want to enable you to go out and have good, high-level conversations about blockchain, not only with the engineers and developers in your organization or with partner organizations, uh, but also with non-technical business stakeholders as well. Um, then finally, we're going to teach you how to identify the resources that you'll need for a blockchain project and actually start to build out a project plan and timeline so you can answer questions about level of effort, timing, and budget constraints with your stakeholders. Um, as far as who should attend this course, well, we really make, try to make this a very open course. Um, so if you've never heard about blockchain before, if you're brand new to blockchain, no problem. We're going to start right at the basics. There is no requirement in this course um, for any kind of development or coding um, knowledge. We will get hands-on a little bit later with a sample blockchain application, and as part of that, We'll look at some of the code underneath it. We'll look at the different pieces and components and how it works. Uh, but if you're a non-coder, that's okay. We're not going to get too technical. We're not going to go too deep into it. And if you're taking this course so that you can take the Certified Blockchain Solutions Architect exam and become a Certified Blockchain Architect, just know that there are no code-related questions on that exam. So anytime we look at any code throughout this course, it's purely for your own knowledge. If you don't come from a development or coding background, that's okay. 